Hello and welcome. I'm Cynthia Miller. This is our online watercolor class and today we're going to do a shoreline with uh, an ink accent and this one is wonderful to relax and just lay back and watch the first time. It's quite a, a simple process. What I've done and started with basically as you can see is um, wetting the paper in the uh, shape of the landscape that I'm going to build. And I painted on some um, colors of yellow that are going to be the light that filter through. I've used some nice green for the water and you can see where I've made that horizon straight, straight across. And I started building up on the hillside with my, um, I think it's about an inch brush that I have, it's flat. It's square, which you might think, well, how can you make round stones with a square brush? But we're going to be accenting this with a black ink pen. And what we're doing here is, is actually quite fun because it doesn't really have to look like anything. We're just putting in some shapes, some reflection, and we'll be taking the black ink pen at uh, which point we'll, we'll start to draw freehand with a black ink pen. How does that sound? A little bit scary, but it is definitely doable. Now I'm putting on some color and you can see I'm giving it some texture. I'm using that straight brush to dab up and down and this is sort of how I got the light to look like it's shining on the, the landscape. And you can see I'm going into the water a little bit too, below the horizon and um, using a nice dark green for this. And it's just very intuitive. So just let yourself build a landscape that, that um, it is filled with colors, like choose three or four different colors um, that go well together that are greens and blues and uh, have that yellow coming through. Now I'm playing a little bit with the water when I'm putting those hard lines on a dry paper. And um, I'm starting to sort of build up the layers of the rocks, giving it different tones of that same shade here and there. I decided to hold my artwork up and let a little bit of uh, color sort of fall from the top of the, the hillside. And I like the way this looked. So it's one of my favorite things to do is just watch the paint do what it likes to do on its, on its edge. Now I accented that horizon just a touch and now I'm going to add some more of this darker green. This is my dusk green and I love it. And I want this, it's sort of in a sections, this hillside. And this is the middle section. And again, I'm putting those downward strokes. I had no idea what it was going to look like, but I'm trying to replicate what um, what's in my mind, the, the reflection, the different shades. Like I said, two, three, four shades of different colors with the, with the yellow shining through. So there's little pieces of the yellow shining through here. And then I've got this one other little patch of yellow that I didn't cover up very much. So I'm going to add a little bit of green to that and carry that through into the water and um, just allowing those colors to blend how they might. I, I wanted it to be more blended. I didn't want it to have so many hard lines. So um, just sort of playing with it and, and giving it lots of moisture and lots of intuition. Now this could very well have been a tree shoreline. You can see by the way the paint strokes are, it looks like trees more than it looks like a pile of, of rocks, which is what I'm going to start building. But I wanted to show you this sort of funky way of doing a really easy rocky shoreline. And using the black ink pen, I just used two different kinds 
and they're quite easy to find. And what we're going to do is just build from one side to the other this pile of stones. And these stones are going to be slightly round because they're easier for this exercise. And when you put the round stones together, obviously you're going to start at the bottom because the stones build on top of each other. You want to have a section where the stones get really large. You can see at the end on the left hand side they're quite small. And I'm just going along the shoreline showing you what I'm going to do with the horizon. I'm just going to put a few bubbles in that line that goes along the bottom of the stones and the top of the water there. And you can see I'm going over a couple of times where the stones meet in the corners. And so I'm rounding off the corners of the stones. You can see in the close-up where I've taken my black pen and made little triangle uh, shapes in where the corners of the stones meet. And you'll notice how that helps to make it look like it is um, three-dimensional, realistic, yet whimsical at the same time. So when you get to the center of the shoreline, I want you to uh, make your stones a little bit bigger. This is where you are looking at it straight on to the left at the edge of the uh, shoreline. You want them to be a little bit smaller and they increasingly get bigger as they go into shore. And just build them on the horizon. Um, you don't, you want to make them look like they are sitting on top of each other and um, just continue to follow that that process of, of wherever those two edges meet and then the third edge it becomes a little triangle that you color in with your black pen and you're making shapes out of these stones you're making these stones out of shapes so that's pretty deep. I think I'm just going to focus on getting these stones done. So we're at the point where I'd like you to make a couple of very large stones. Don't be afraid to bring your pen right up and uh, accent your shoreline with some big stones. This is really how they were formed and, and you find them lots around here. There's all different kinds of beaches and stones and you know, this is one thing you don't want to do. You don't want to sort of build the stone out from the side. I realized that was sort of hard to get perspective on. And you can add little black marks to the tops of them too, make them look like they're either cracked or a little divot in them. So yeah, just take your time, have fun with it. It's very intuitive, but it's also very meditative and, and just creating those stones within those colors and, and the light and, um, and you know, what you've already painted on there is kind of fun to see how it turns out. So have fun with that and we'll take you to the next step. And the next step is drawing the trees. So we're going to do one at a time and we're just going to have a good look at the shoreline and gauge how tall you think those trees should be. Imagine them different sizes and then just draw your line in. And the way that I draw trees are just um, very basic lines, sort of curves a little bit because they're a little bit weathered. And I'm just going to show you the base of how I've helped the the tree anchor to the stone. It, it's sort of like, a, you know, you do it with the black pen, you create this base. It's almost like setting up a lamp. <laughs> and, um, and just find um, places, maybe three or five. It's always good to do an odd number. I did five here, so I will finish those up and then we'll be ready to go for the water. We're going to start working on the reflection. 
So once you have your trees in place with the ink only, we're just going to let them dry a little bit. And I'm going to uh, turn my artwork upside down and I'm going to go along the edge of the water and replicate the stones that I've just drawn along the shoreline. And so it's, it's underwater, so the lines can be a little bit shaky. In fact, it looks better if they're just sort of light and airy and, and just try to be free with that. Just putting on a second layer now of the stone reflection. And again, as you move out away from the, the actual edge of the water, you want it to be light. But you can see that that reflection is, is coming through down below and, and placing in the reflections of the trees even. You can see that that actually looks quite realistic to have those reflected like that. Now I realize that I didn't uh, include in my video how to fill in the tree and I just got a tiny brush and a little bit of light dust green and so this um, it's diluted but it is not um, filled with too much water. Just a light shade to make fill in those spaces around the black branches. So I hope you enjoy that and I hope you come to one of our live online classes every week. See you there.